This video is about the dividing cell view of the human body. According to Darwin's theory of evolution, human beings evolved from a single cell floating in the ocean, similar to the one shown in this picture. That single cell evolved into a fish, an amphibian, a reptile, an insect, a bird, a mammal, and then into a human being. According to Happy Theory, the human body retains somewhere within itself one or more characteristics of everything it has ever been on the path of evolution. This is a common sense kind of idea. If a building is constructed out of red bricks, the building can be described as containing the characteristics of a red brick somewhere within itself. Any part of the building that is selected for examination will show the characteristic red color of a red brick, the characteristic grainy material a red brick is made of, or the characteristic rectangular shape of a red brick. Because Happy Theory treats the human body as if it is constructed out of all of the creatures on the path of evolution, that would mean the human body will contain somewhere within itself one or more characteristics of all of the creatures on the path of evolution, like the red brick building contains the characteristics of a red brick within itself. According to Happy Theory, the human body contains somewhere within itself one or more characteristics of a fish, an amphibian, a reptile, an insect, a bird, a mammal, and most pertinent to this video, the original single cell floating in the ocean. One of the characteristics of a single cell would be the way in which it is constructed. A single cell can be thought of as a hollow sac that has an elliptical shape. The interior of the sac is filled with fluid and various other things that keep the cell alive, such as the nucleus of the cell. A human being can also be described as a fluid-filled sac. The skin of the human body would be equivalent to the sac of the single cell, while the blood and other fluids inside of the human body would be equivalent to the fluids inside of the single cell. According to Happy Theory, this is an example of the human body containing within itself a characteristic of one of the creatures on the path of evolution. The human body contains the fluid-filled sac characteristic of a single cell. If the human body contains the fluid-filled sac characteristic of a single cell, it seems reasonable to believe that the other characteristics of a single cell could also be found within the human body. Another characteristic of a single cell is its elliptical shape, as highlighted in this picture. The characteristic elliptical shape of a single cell is the basis for the single cell view of the human body. According to the single cell view of the human body, the entire human body can be treated as a large single cell located as shown in this picture. Now that the single cell view of the human body has been defined, the subject of this video can be discussed. Another characteristic of a single cell is the way that it reproduces. A single cell reproduces by a process called cell division. The single cell will divide itself into two new identical single cells. Please watch the following video which shows a single cell undergoing the process of cell division. This picture shows one stage of the cell division process. There are two mostly complete single cells that are joined together at a small area indicated by the arrow. According to the dividing cell view of the human body, the human body can be treated as if it is a large dividing cell located as shown in this picture. The elliptical shape of each new cell encloses most of one half of the human body. Although it is difficult to tell with this picture, a small section of each cell also encloses a small area of the opposite side of the body as indicated by the arrows. This picture shows a computer model human body and two elliptical objects which will represent two single cells. 
This picture shows the two elliptical single cell objects superimposed on the human body to create the dividing cell view of the human body. In the next picture, both cells have been made transparent so that the relationship between the two cells and the human body can be seen more clearly. The camera then circumnavigates the dividing cell view of the human body so the relationship between the two cells and the human body can be examined from different angles. Because each of the new cells are identical to the original single cell, all of the characteristics of the original single cell would apply to both of the new cells that comprise the dividing cell view of the human body. One of the more useful characteristics of a cell that can be used for gaining insight into the human body would be the way in which a cell is constructed. The single cell was previously described as being a fluid-filled sac, which is an accurate real-life description of a single cell. A deeper insight into how the human body is constructed and behaves can be gained by treating the single cell as if it is constructed in a different way. For the purposes of happy theory, various theoretical models of how the single cell is constructed have been created. These theoretical models can provide a deeper insight into how the human body is constructed and behaves than is possible using the real-life fluid-filled sac description of how a single cell is constructed. One useful theoretical way in which the single cell could be constructed would be as a tightly packed array of fibers grouped together in some type of pattern. The single cell could be treated as if it was constructed out of a group of straight vertical fibers as shown in this picture. Or the single cell could be treated as if it was constructed out of curved fibers that spiral around the single cell from the top to the bottom as shown in this picture. That would mean that each cell of the dividing cell view of the human body could also be treated as if it was constructed of fibers. This picture shows a vertical pattern of fibers on both of the cells of the dividing cell view of the human body. This picture shows a spiral pattern of fibers on both cells of the dividing cell view of the human body. Insight into the human body can also be gained by treating the single cell as if it is constructed of layers grouped together in various patterns. As shown in this end-on view of a single cell, the single cell could be treated as if it is composed of a tightly packed array of straight layers that run radially from the center of the cell to the outer edge of the cell. Or the cell could be comprised of a tightly packed array of curved layers that run radially from the center of the cell to the outer edge of the cell. This picture shows an example radial layer for the single cell from an overhead view. The layer curves from the center of the single cell to the outer edge of the single cell. In this front view picture comparing the single cell to the single radial layer, the curvature of the radial layer from the top to the bottom, which mimics the shape of the elliptical single cell, can be seen. This picture shows a limited number of the curve layers arranged into a radial pattern. This picture can be used as a guide in helping to visualize the infinite number of infinitely thin curve layers arranged in a radial pattern that the single cell is theoretically constructed of. An intriguing image is produced when the group of radial layers construction technique is applied to the two cells of the dividing cell view of the human body as shown in this picture. Like the single cell view of the human body, the dividing cell view of the human body is also the foundation for some of the other theoretical models of the human body that have been created for happy theory. The double torus view of the human body, the double cylinder view of the human body, and the coil spring view of the human body are all based on the dividing cell view of the human body. Further information on the dividing cell view of the human body and how it can be used to provide insight into how the human body is constructed and behaves 
will be provided in future videos of this series.